What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Art Dividend. And if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I'm going to post a quick video for you guys, kind of a speed run, some dividend stocks to buy that are at a discount right now because of this big drop in the stock market. So I'll do a quick stock analysis and dividend stock analysis on them. They're great dividend growth stocks. You probably have these in your portfolio, but I saw these right now really quick and i just want to emphasize that these are hot right now and again this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes only make sure you smash that like button and let's check these stocks out right now the first one i want to emphasize is jp morgan it took a huge dip right now it's sitting at 113.43 so it, its year range was 172.96 and it's and right now it's 113.43. The average volume is 13.48 million. The dividend yield is 3.53 percent. PE ratio is 8.42, and its previous close was 115.41. So its dividend history is excellent, and these guys are cheap right now uh, compared to 172 dollars. So check this out. Let's just start in 2011. They were 25 cents in 2012, 30 cents. 2013, 38 cents. 2014, 40 cents. 2015 44 cents, 2016 48 cents, 2017 50 cents, 2018 58 cents. All look at this 2019 80 cents, 2019 then 90 cents, and then it just cracked one dollar in 2022. So, number of dividend increases in the last five years is four. Dividend growth in five years is 16.09 percent, the pay payout ratio of 30 percent. Right now, it has a dividend yield of 3.47 percent. So, if you bought one share, you made four dollars. That's a pretty hot dividend stock right now. Let's check out the next one. Next one I want to emphasize is Pfizer, it's sitting at 47.48 with a dividend yield of 3.37 percent, a PE ratio of 10.90, average volume 24.42 million, the market cap is 266.41 billion U.S. dollars. Year range is 38.70 to 61.71. Stay range is 47.06 to 48. And its previous close is 48.51. So right there, I mean, these guys, in a little bit, we're keeping up with the S&P. And all of a sudden, they just drop. So look at this huge discount, 38.70, 61.71. So the huge drop right there to check out with these guys. And I'll go over their dividend history. Let's start in 2012. It was 22 cents in 2013, 24 cents. 2014, 26 cents, then 2015, 28 cents, 2016, 30 cents, then 2017, 32 cents, then 2018, 34 cents, and 2019, 36 cents, and 2020, 38 cents. And then you get that little special dividend, four cents, and then all of a sudden 39 cents, and then they just cracked 40 cents. So the payout ratio is 31%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is five. Annualized dividend growth in five years is 4.95%. Not bad. Dividend yield if you, is 3.30%. And if you bought one share, you made $1.60. Let's check out a few more. Next one is Key Corp. This is another bank stock. Has a dividend yield of 4.57%. A PE ratio of 6.91. The average volume is 10.18 million U.S. dollars. The market cap is 15.93 U.S. dollars billion US dollars, excuse me. Your range is 1695 to 2717. Its day range was 1695 to 1740. And its previous close was 1774. I own these guys and I'm long in them and I'll show you why with their dividend history. You're gonna like this, 2013, six cents, 2014, seven cents, 2015, eight cents, 2016, nine cents, and then 2017, it cracked 10 cents. In 2018, 11 cents and 12 cents. And they're at 17 cents in 2018, 2019. And they're at 19 cents in 2019, 2020. They just cracked 20 cents right now. So payout ratio is 32%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is five. Annualized dividend growth in five years is 15.72%. So if you bought one share, you made 78 cents. The dividend yield of 4.40%. I have two more for you guys. And another significant dip with Starbucks. It's sitting at 70.95, a dividend yield of 2.76%, a PE ratio of 18.99. The average volume is 11.89 million US dollars. The market cap is 81.37 billion US dollars. Your range is 68.39 to 126.32. What a drop right there, 68.39 to 126.32. Significant drop. Day range 7035 to 7261. Its previous close is 7419. 
Now let's check out their dividend history. We're right where they split their stock. 2013, then 2014, 26, then 32. And all of a sudden, boom, stock split in 2014, 2015. 16 cents, then it cracked to 20 cents, and they cracked to 25 cents, then they cracked to 30 cents, and then they cracked to 36 cents in 2018, 2019, then they cracked to 41 cents, 2020, they cracked to 41 cents, then 45 cents, and then they cracked to 49 cents in 2022. Dividend growth in five years, 14.19%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is five. Payout ratio, 59%. You bought one share, you made $1.96 with a 2.64% dividend yield. Let's jump to the last dividend stock. When we are going after Flowers Foods, FLO is a symbol, FLO. By the way, in my videos, I always put this company's name in the uh, description of my video. So if you're you know, trying to figure out what symbols they are, I always have them in the description. So... Flowers Foods, twenty four fifty nine, big bread company, bread in stores like crazy. So that's a big thing about these guys. Dividend yield, I did do a review on these guys. Dividend, 3.58%. PE ratio, 23.82. Average volume, 1.69 million. Market cap, 5.21 billion US dollars. Its year range is 2261 to 2973. Day range was 2440 to 2489. Its previous close is 2478. So it's not jumping up too much, which is very attractive. What's really attractive is their dividend history. Start in 2013, it was eight cents. Then it was 11 cents. Then 2014, it cracked 12 cents. In 2015, it cracked 13 cents. 2015, it cracked 15 cents. 2016, it cracked 16 cents. 2017, it cracked 17 cents. 2018, it cracked 18 cents. 2019, it cracked 19 cents. 2020, it cracked 20 cents. 2021, it cracked 21 cents. And then 2022, it cracked 22 cents. The payout ratio is 67%, not too worried. This is one that I'm highly looking at. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is five. Annualized dividend growth in five years is 5.21%. Annual dividend, if you bought one share, you made 88 cents. And the dividend yield is 3.55%. So I wanted to do a quick speed run with dividend stocks that are pretty cheap right now. So I will try to post a video and squeeze one in on Saturday. Don't quote me on that, but I wanted to post one um, tonight. Actually, I'm doing that for... Uh, this morning for Friday. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Dividend. You guys have a good one. Post in the comment section. Let me know what dividend stocks you want me to do a review on. I have a huge list from you guys, but just keep on going. I'll be glad to do that with dividend stocks. So again, hit that notification bell because I am pumping out videos and I'm trying to help help you guys out with um hot dividend stocks that I found. Again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description. Happy Friday and take care.